Bob and FP will join us for a couple of minutes. Tough day for Max Scherzer and a tough day for Daniel Murphy, too, to see the hitting streak come to an end. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Murph wasn't going to put together a 160-game streak, so these things are going to happen. Hit the ball hard a couple of times. I mean, he is still locked in, so hopefully the Nats back with everybody in the lineup tomorrow night. You know, but FP, you're going to have games like this. Unusual for it to happen to Max Scherzer, but that's baseball, and you just chalk it up. It's still a pretty good road trip. Yeah, it's, it's a day game after a night game. I mean, I always judge by how I'm feeling in the booth and how those guys are actually playing. So today was just one of those days where... You know, you left a lot of energy out there throughout the whole road trip. You know, you're traveling, day game after night game. They just looked a little bit flat today, but that's going to happen in 162-game schedule. So now you regroup, you put your white unis on. A lot of guys still haven't even moved into their apartments yet. That's how yeah. young this season. And I was talking to Matt Belisle today before the game. He's still moving in, so that's what he's going to do tomorrow. So the season very young, and this you just chalk this one up. It's one of those days. Yeah, big picture. And, uh, you know, the Nets haven't played outside the division yet. Minnesota tomorrow for three then the Phillies so uh, not a taste of what's going on around baseball a whole lot uh, but plenty of that will come on the next road trip but this is a homestand against the likes of the Twins and the Phillies where you could really have a fantastic record a week from now going to St. Louis yeah you're hoping for that but one day at a time take tomorrow's game and win the first game of the series and go from there don't let teams that are down think they can play with you yeah and I think that's the key and that's what they've done so well you know they went into Philly and thumped them the first night you can't play with us same thing with the Braves and that's hopefully what they do after today some guys got some rest go in thump the twins tomorrow night and you know great teams beat other teams will to win and that's what the Nats have been doing so far okay one more for you all right because we've seen some things on this road trip that were crazy they were fantastic like Tuesday night here Bryce Harper's performance on the road trip. Not the most hits he's ever had in a trip, although he had a bunch in Philly, but the drama, the power, and the RBIs. Yeah, yeah, it's stuff like, yeah, we call it Bryce Harper the movie because it is. You can't believe what you're seeing and wrap your head around the stuff that he does and, you know, extra inning home runs, uh, the grand slam the other day for his 100th home run the other night. I mean, it's just one thing after another. And I keep shaking my head that they're even pitching to him. So we'll see what the Twins yeah. do and, and Paul Molitor if they decide to go after Bryce. But, you know, when you have Daniel Murphy and Ryan Zimmerman hitting behind him, it's pick your poison. All right, Johnny, they've opened the roof. Time for us to jump out of here. Look forward to seeing you guys at our ballpark tomorrow night. Thank you very much, Mr. Bob. Thank you very much, Mr. FP. We will see you. Have a safe trip back tonight with a ball club from Miami.